So I'm going to show you Fasnetis, which is functions as a service ported to Kubernetes. And we're going to start off deploying onto an empty cluster. We'll then test out the UI, see Prometheus metrics. We'll get auto scaling to kick in, and then we'll take a look at the Faz CLI. Now I have a terminal open and I am about to apply some configuration. I've split the various FAS components up. We have a monitoring through Prometheus and Alert Manager, which manages the scaling of our application, of our functions. We have our back role, and then we have a gateway, which we normally have in FAS, and then the FAS Netis daemon or microservice that is actually used to contain all of the Kubernetes workload. You can see all of those parts are up and running now. And a node port open. So if we were to look at services, we can see that actually have a node port for the gateway. And that's what we're looking at right now. I can click on any function and hit invoke. And we're gonna get one, one host there at the moment because there's, no, uh, there's not enough load for this to auto scale. And we can look at the alerts, but we should also see we've got some metrics. So the function has been called 17 times. And we can look at the rate of that just here. So it's not being called enough to invoke the auto scaling behavior. That is when we have a sustained rate of over five requests per second. We can do a while loop here. and invoke that node info function with an empty parameter. So as long as we get the address right, be able to invoke the function. Right, so the name is node info without an underscore. So I'm now calling that function in a loop as fast as I can. It's not the fastest function that I have because it runs node.js. Um, we have a faster one, this oblique function. But the way to know whether we're scale, going to scale or not is by looking at the metrics. So we actually have 6.5 requests per second, and that is definitely enough to trigger the behavior. And as we look at this page for the alert, we'll see it's pending. In a few moments, that will actually start firing. And over on the gateway, we can see we now have actually five replicas of that microservice or of that function. And as we hit the invoke button in the bottom part of the screen, we can see all of those different replicas appearing. So if we were to cancel the curl loop, give us a few moments, maybe run one of the other functions, we'll be able to see that this alert will get resolved. Now we have to wait at least 10 seconds for that to uh, narrow off. And now that has been resolved. And over on the, the main gateway page, we're down to one replica again. So as we put the load there, we send a request to the Kubernetes API server and ask for, for five more replicas. Now this just happens to go up in blocks of five. For Docker Swarm, there was a cap of 20. And I set the cap here for about um, 40 odd. Now there is also CLI that works with um, with FAS. And this is an example of what the CLI, your YAML format looks like. And you can use this to define your functions and also to um, connect to the remote server to deploy them.
So that's what I was going to try right now. You know, type in fast CLI deploy. We should see those services have now been created. If we take the URL ping, for instance, this tells you whether a site is up or not. And it's running already. So really that simple. Now we can also use the same CLI to build the functions out. So if I change this flag to build, Docker will then rebuild these functions. We can push them to a registry and redeploy them. So the code for that particular sample is in the repository for the fast CLI. And we just write a handler. And it's really as small as this. And you can see from this validation here that if we don't have HTTP at the beginning, it will give us an error message. So that's something we can try right now. And it says, give me a URL and I'll ping it for you. So that's a really quick introduction to FAS. We have the API gateway here. We can create a function with this pop-up. We can look at the various functions that we have and invoke them by hitting invoke. We can use curl and a loop, we can generate some traffic, we could also use Apache Bench here. And then we can use Prometheus to monitor and get an idea of how the um, functions are being used and how well they're scaling. We also have Alert Manager built into the stack and all of this is highly configurable. So if you, you want to find out more, head over to Fasnetis on GitHub and put a star on the project looking for contributions and it'll be great to hear from you.